Assalamualaikum and welcome back to AutoWorks Pakistan. My name is Mohammad Hassan and in this video we are going to be discussing the complete working of a BVDI system. So what is a BVDI? A BVDI stands for Variable Vault Timing with Intelligence. Toyota developed a system to improve the fuel efficiency and the performance of the engine simultaneously. What a BVDI does is it varies the timing of the inlet valve by adjusting the relationship between camshaft driver and the inlet camshaft. So what a BVDI does is it improves the efficiency of the engine at low and medium engine speeds by closing the valve by closing the inlet valve earlier. So when you close the inlet valve earlier, it restricts the flow of air fuel mixture thus improving the efficiency of the engine. So what if you need high power at high RPMs? So at higher RPMs, what a BVDA does is it opens the inlet wall earlier so that more air fuel mixture can enter into the cylinder thus it makes more power. So this is a BVDA solenoid valve or BVDI oil control valve. What it does is it controls the flow of oil through which the variable valve timing is controlled. So the variable valve timing is all based upon oil pressure. Let's look inside the chamber. So when the profile wants to change and engage the BVTI, the solenoid will send the oil to engage the BVTI timing like this the oil pressure will push and engage the VVTI respectively when it want to return back the solenoid will send pressure to other side of this chamber the oil will press through other side and push the chamber back to its zero position and the VVTI will lock down to its zero position. As you can see, it is now on zero. When the oil pressure is built upon, it moves and this covers this distance. So, this is the maximum VVTI, and this is at its zero position, and this locks the VVTI system. That is why when the solenoid valve is broken, it affects the engine RPM. So what do we have here? This is our engine head. As you can see, this is the exhaust camshaft and this is the inlet camshaft. The location of the solenoid valve is quite close to our inlet camshaft. Right here, as you can see, this is the slot to engage the VVTI solenoid valve so this is the VVTI where the oil pressure the VVTI engages now there is another question what is dual VVTI so the dual VVTI is the advanced version of single VVTI like this <coughs> but it is but it has two VVTI systems one for the inlet and one for the exhaust system and adds a little complexity but it improves efficiency and power simultaneously so let's talk about what is the difference between a normal engine a VVTI engine and a dual VVTI engine so there are a lot of advantages of VVTI engine so it will improve the efficiency the fuel efficiency at lower and medium RPMs and increase the output at higher RPM. So the dual VVTI are much more advanced version of the single VVTI and improves a little bit more and gain more power than single VVTI. So what are disadvantages of these systems? So when we look at the advantages, there are quite minimum disadvantages like increasing cost and adds a little bit complexity to your engine so the location of the VVTI valve when it comes to the engine bay 
uh, when you pop out the engine cover it is right below here as you can see this this is the VVDI control valve or solenoid valve which controls the oil pressure and this is the inlet camshaft right below this cover and this is the exhaust shaft right below there so this is the main location of the VVDI solenoid valve around here